All right, I'm going to do this quick presentation on the open startup. It's a new paradigm, so understand just as IBM could not understand the importance of uh, software, that's why they gave Gates uh, the license, or why Atari or HP could not see the value of um, the personal computer, that's why they didn't want to build it. You know, Jobs offered it to them, but they didn't want to build it because they didn't think it was, was possible. You have to understand that the open startup is also that kind of paradigm. It's a new paradigm that you do not exist in, and it's going to be very difficult for you to see. Like Jobs, like Gates, I am the innovator behind it. And ultimately, what it's going to take is a leap of faith. And most investors, over 97.5% of investors, will not take a leap of faith investment. So what I'm having to do is open source this and hoping to get the community to build it because after two years of trying to find investors, I have to move forward. So let me share with you what I've spent two years developing and why it's so important. Well, there's a massive pain coming. It's called the end of growth. And I strongly recommend you watch this video right here. Uh, take the 15 minutes, watch the, the, the TED uh, 2012 talk, and then watch the follow-up talks. Um, it, because ultimately, I want you to rate what you think one being, I completely agree with this, seven mean this is complete nonsense. And I guarantee if you watch the supportive talks, uh, your paradigm is going to move down. It's going to move down. Over the next two years, uh, the end of growth is going to play a very significant part of what's going on. And ultimately, uh, it's very important. So please take the time to understand it. Understand that we're going to have to come out with a new new social transformation, right? A radical transformation from a selfish society to a gluttonous society, from a selfless to a gluttonous, gluttonless society. And innovation cannot save us. It can only slow the process. Education is the only way, uh, only way we can be saved. And ultimately, when I say saved, I mean save our, 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 our way of life, or at least some of it. Um, the other pain is this, is that for the last 5,000 years, success has been access to capital. We're going to change that. So what is the solution? It's the open startup. Think of the open startup as um, a ubiquitous solution, ecosystem, ecosystem. It's simple. It's easy. Very similar to Jobs' paradigm of the PC. It's my paradigm of the startup. Okay, The startup is just as complicated as the PC before Jobs. We want to make it simple, easy, and fun. And... In doing so, what I realized too is we need a new kind of corporation, and really the the, the open corp is really just a matter of changing some bylaws um, of the current corporation, introducing the greater stakeholder, making it transparent, and investing 80% of net profits back into launching new open startups and creating a new corporate crowdfunder called the Archangel. What we're doing is this, is we're turning innovation on its head. We are turning the closed incubator on its head, right, and creating the open one. That's why it's called the Open Incubator Framework or the Open I Innovation Framework. Um, and I spent the last two years working on this. What is the outcome? What are we trying to do? Well, we're trying to bring about the innovation revolution. What does that mean? Well, it means that 95% of validated ideas will successfully launch. I'll talk about what that means, validated. Um, it means launching thousands of open corporations that ultimately are going to turn around and fund more open startups and some of the and bring about innovations like the education singularity, e-singularity paradigm, a platform that I've been trying to develop and ultimately I developed the open startup in order for me to bring about this paradigm because I know this paradigm is a necessity for us to make it through the end of growth. And ultimately change success equals access to capital to it simply meaning validated idea, right? And what does this mean? Well, one is, and this, I'm put Bitcoin in here. Uh, BTC stands for Bitcoin. It can be dollar, it could be yen, it could be whatever you want. The reason why I'm using Bitcoin is because ultimately currencies, because of the end of growth, are going to be flattened. Uh, the dollar is not going to be worth what it's worth now. And we need a stable currency and the way that Bitcoin is set up, it's set up to be very stable. Um, so first you validate and you validate and as a result of validating, you, we bring about something called passive crowdfunding. You don't have to do anything but put up your idea and it's going to start, start developing funds. As it 
passively crowdfunds, you're going to pull together the proof of concept, it's going to pull to the team, and it's going to slowly build, build, build more funds. Okay, this again could be dollars, could be anything. And it's going to get you to your first crowdfunding campaign. Now understand, we're not launching at zero. We're actually launching at 65% of goal, and I have 65,500. I mean, if you raise 65% of the goal, you're going to hit 500% of your goal, right? So the tough thing, and again, these ideas can incubate as long as they they take doesn't matter it's passive um, and I'll show you what the platform is going to look like but again once it does hit its first round we're going to hit its second round and as you, as you can see it's building building more capital um, and as we get the minimal viable product the MVP all of a sudden now that's its beta okay it has customers we launch as a beta and ultimately it, it launches and in, in doing so, as it launches, what happened was we create something called Archangels because it launches as an open corp. And what does open corp do? Well, they turn around and they put 80% of their net profits back into what? OSI. Like success equals valid idea. The only thing that's required is for you to validate your idea. Another way to look at this, right? Uh, and this was one of the innovations that I came up with. And this is kind of like a, a simpler version of wireframe is the model. Currently the model is this, is I have to have an idea, I then have to pay for someone to develop the concept, and then I have to hope that in developing the concept, one is I don't lose access to IP, and number two, that I can raise the funds. Well, the bottom line is less than 1% of startups that do this process actually succeed. The lean startup, nothing else, has ultimately helped improve this. Why? Because the fundamental startup, the closed startup, is you know has too many systemic problems to it so ultimately what we do is we um we introduce something called a soft proto no developer needed and i'll show you what that is i you know um you could actually click on this and go right to it if you're going to the presentation um so what is the what is the process what i call the oif patent right uh and uh this is level one of the patent uh that uh i was unable to file because i didn't have the money so you know, I'm, I'm sharing it here, uh, putting it in the public domain, and uh, ultimately how it works is really simple. You have ideas, it's going to validate. There's seven ways it validates. Every Everyone, um, by them doing these activities, actually earn Bitcoin. So if you follow someone, you're actually going to apply your Bitcoins to them. By you actually joining our service, and I'll talk about that, you're actually mining Bitcoin that's going to go into your account, and then we're applying these Bitcoins to your different startups okay um, you endorse you advise you join a team you're actually depending each one has a different weight to it and applying your your you know your Bitcoin the reason why I like Bitcoin is because you can actually have some miners actually generating funds anyone can make Bitcoin um, you know on it as it moves to the process automatically funds as a crowdfunding one crowdfunding two, the private placement this is not crowdfunding it's something we do for you for you okay you don't have to worry about chasing a private placement we will do it for you okay um it's it's one of the services that you that you get and ultimately it launches you can take your stake and ultimately transfer your stake into shares this is oif this is the open incubator framework and in very simplistic and level one there's actually multiple levels to this the game mechanics is really simple it's very straightforward the user comes in he's either free or paid paid you pay a simple fee that translates into bitcoins um, if you're playing the free version which means you're just you're you're applying your your small amounts of bitcoin if you win you actually win more bitcoin if you have a paid you actually get more bitcoin but if you invest those bitcoin and you win then actually you get more and you can you can basically get stakes or prizes think of prizes product for eyeballs um, and we're going to actually discount our products by 80%. Remember, 80% of our net revenue is going to be used to discount our product, be used to, to launch. It's all going to go back into um, the platform. Um, the idea is, can we use Bitcoin to buy equity? We will be able to now that the law is changing. So that's the good news. Um, you know, crowdfunding law has been passed in the Senate, um, and uh, we're going to be able to do that. Ultimately, um, what's you know what's important here is launching the minimal viable product the open the open uh, the protosoft prototype so I'm going to show you what that is and what it's going to look like so this is basically 
OpenStartups.org. So you go to OpenStartups.org, you're going to land on the, what I call the mall. This is the mall. You can get iPhones, you can get technologies, you can do everything you can buy with Bitcoin. Think of it as it's kind of like an eBay for dealing with it. Now, we do basically product for Bitcoin. Eyeballs, remember eyeballs for product? Well, here it is. So if I have 200 Bitcoin, I have five, I could actually get an iPad for 150 Bitcoin, right? And ultimately these uh, uh, these services. Now, these are pitches, these are ideas. These can also be team members. These can, I can type in, I'm looking for a Java developer. These are all Java people want to be point, you know, start up, uh, join a startup. You can browse team members. You can provide service providers. You can browse anything you want. This is a you kind of like a, a, a really simple way it's multimedia driven mall um, let's say I want to look on this idea here is the idea I want to put I want to put um, in um, some funding I have to translate this over to Bitcoin right now I have found up dollars but ultimately I'm simplifying it to Bitcoin so these numbers aren't quite right um, let's say I want to vote well guess what have I logged in no I haven't so what happens I click to log in it says please log in and not only that listen we want you to get connect me because connect me is an important part of our engine uh, we're using their, we want to use their API, it's, uh, you know, it's their, um, you know, uh, validation, right? It's who you are. Um, so we'll give you one Bitcoin if you, if you sign up. So there's a, I'm going to skip from page here. If you actually sign up, there is, you're actually downloading our, our Bitcoin miner. You're setting up the preferences and all that. I'm describing to what's kind of happening. And ultimately, you can set up how much Bitcoin. And basically, as you're not using your PC, you're actually mining Bitcoins. And they're actually going into your platform that you can apply. So we're actually using uh, processing power to, you know, to help you. Now, if you, um, you log in. So here is when you log in, you should be able to go to the, you know, the platform that you wanted to see. Come on here. It's not working. I don't know why. Um, all right. Let me just click here. I'll go a different way about it. Um, so here's the, uh, you know, the login. It's a little, you know, understand this is a soft pro. This is not working version. This is all done on PowerPoint. You know, this is all done on slide rocket PowerPoint. We will offer a free slide rocket PowerPoint. This will actually translate into HTML, um, and you'll even have to code. Uh, you'll get, at least get your base, your basic level in there. So, if I want to see how much a startup has done, or you know how much have they have they raised, um, I can simply click on it, go into it. I can see, wow, this is a locked. It's a level one. They don't even have a logo up there. Wow, now they're level two. They got a logo. You know, I can rate. Um, you know, I can see what's going on. I can actually now, if I wanted to, um, you know, uh, actually check out the overview of it, I can go back to the overview um, and actually learn more about it. Okay. If I want to actually put in funding for this, so here is my rating system here. Um, again, we're promoting our partners here. If you get, um, you know, connect me if they were a partner of ours, you know, then ultimately you can you can win. So if you come in, this is kind of the overview. You can actually you can learn about the project. You can read about the pain, the solution, the outcome. Let's go back to funding. Let me show you that real quick again. So as you go to funding, as these uh, uh, different projects level up, right, um, they'll level up. They gain more traction as they do, right? All of a sudden, wow, people didn't like the logo. Now they're actually launching the 12 million found up dollars. Um, again, I'm going to change this all to Bitcoin. Um, I want to know how much that actually equates to. I can click on, you know, um, here and here as I can put the money. So I know that this is equivalent to $35,000. If they launch today, we 95% chance of them getting to 65,000, right? Over That's their goal, right? So ultimately, what you know, this is going to change based on um, some some basically algorithms and other things that we have that's going to you know monitor this. It tells you how people they love it. This is their the, the caliber of the of the site, right? Um, and um, you know uh, that's it. So this is just a preview. As you notice here, you, you've got different amounts here. This means it's locked in. These are people put in to level five, level seven, right? Level three, level five, right? So you're so unless these guys get to this level, they can't get access to this fund. So they're already raising for their, you know, their private placement, right? 
they're already raising for their um, seed round. Uh, these investors can pull the money out anytime they want. If they think, you know what, it just ain't happening, I want to pull the money out, they can. Um, obviously, they take a penalty when they do, if they want to pull out. So you can actually pull your money out at different stages, put money in. Um, obviously, the later you put the money in, the less return you get. And there's a whole bunch of game mechanics. Thanks a lot. My name is Michael Trout. I hope you enjoyed the talk, and uh, I look forward to your emails. Uh, Please feel free to um, uh, contact me and let me know what you think. Thanks.